Hey everyone, we're here to look at this abandoned mobile home <clears throat> on the side of the road. It's in pretty rough shape. Wonder what they're selling it for. I bet it's worth nothing more than the land. Wow, looks like somebody threw this place apart. It smells so bad in here. Here's a kitchen area. It smells like pee. Animals have definitely been living in here. I see a bicycle there. Oh, this thing is cool. That vintage bureau, or whatever you'd call that thing. Look at those are like hospital mattresses. You see all they're made out of plastic. Easy to clean. Look how they have it stabilized in here. This place would just fall apart because this area can get six feet of snowpack in one season. If you don't shovel off a flat roof, it's probably going to give up. I do not want to find a bear in here. This is bear country. Look at that. Animals have been in here. Wow. There's the electrical box. Looks like somebody was stealing copper wires. Something like that. Look at this. There's children's toys everywhere. It just adds to the eeriness. So that's where we just were. Look at this. The bathtub. The toilet. Somebody's toolbox. By the looks of it, someone stole all the tools. Water heaters, 15 bucks. I think this was a tag sale at one point before whoever moved out. Looks like somebody robbed it blind. But this is a beautiful lot of land. If you were gonna put a new mobile home here. Oh, wow. Is that an abandoned bus? Whoa. Abandoned bus. Got a bunch of bullet holes through the windshield of it. That is awesome. That looks like a bear den, doesn't it? Something been living in there. Whoa, this thing's cool. See how that's covered up? It looks like it used to be a bus, but somebody converted it into a motorhome. I've actually been wanting to do that with a school bus, but it's just too much gas money. No, this thing was a motorhome, it wasn't a bus. Look at the thing. Oh, the springs are still springy on the thing. The smell of mold is so bad. Ooh, look at all the mouse poop. Laboratory. Oh. This is awesome actually. Look at that. The speaker for the radio. The lights. A little maintenance room. Emergency door. You know, maybe I was right all along. It's an old bus. Why would an RV have that? And it's covered up with another door. Now, this is an old bus. Not really sure how old it is. Look at the little water heater. Yep, criminal's been chopping the copper. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Mmm. The smell of mold. Wow. Little fire extinguisher in here. We gotta look at the outside of this. This thing is awesome, actually. That's a pretty cool roadside find. I'm glad I stopped to look at this property. Look at that thing. I would love to drive something like that around. Must be a major gas hog. 
propane tank. Let's get a look at the engine. Alright, let's get out of here. The air conditioner actually looks modern. Doesn't look like it's been out here too terribly long because I've seen other RVs in the woods, like box trucks and stuff, and they have been rusted to no end. I think this is galvanized or something because they're just, there's not really any rust on the body. I'm sure the frame beneath, but that's nice. It's probably galvanized or maybe zinc coated. I've been wanting to do something like that with a school bus, but I just do not have the money for all that diesel fuel. I travel a lot. I usually just camp out in my small four-cylinder SUV. Sting. I'd be surprised if it gets 10 miles to the gallon. Probably worse. I know school buses can get around 15 on the highway. Because you can pick up a school bus on eBay for like 2,000 bucks. Rip out the seats. Got yourself a little rolling house. But it must have a kitchen and bathroom or the DMV will refuse to change the registration to a motorhome from a commercial vehicle. But if you have a CDL, I guess you could just keep it as a bus. It'd probably be more to register a bus though. Looks like they had a wood burning stove there. Look at the damage there. That's from the heavy winter snow. It's today, we're like a 20 minute drive from the Canada border. Not gonna mention what state this is in to prevent it from getting robbed or burned down by somebody who's watching this video. There will be no instructions on how to get here. Look at this a tailpipe. A cone. Toolboxes? Nope, they're empty. Somebody's rug. What kind of rug is that? Looks like a modern, cheap plastic fiber. Well, look at the dirt road leading up to the place. You can tell that hasn't been traveled in quite some time. Well, winter is coming. We're starting to get some nice fall foliage just beginning. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was interesting. Hey everyone. Today we're here at the small beaver pond and the water is about three feet lower than it should be because it hasn't been raining. This small pond right here is fed by a stream that's completely dried up. We're gonna go look at the beaver lodge. The waters drop low enough that the entrances are showing. And look right here. See these big tracks? It kinda looks like maybe a bear was sitting here or walking through the swamp. Big bear tracks. The mud is not as soft as I thought it would be, but that'll probably change. I'm going to try to get over there and show the entrance of this place. So you can see I'm sinking maybe a few inches, but it is certainly getting worse as I go on. A little bit nervous about jumping over this pool. Got a lot of gas being released right now. And that gas is just about what's holding up the mud. Certain areas of the mud might actually be floating. Looks like we'll be able to make it over. Got some of the beaver tracks here.
that's where the stream is fed right over there how am I gonna get around this I think maybe I can get in but I have to plow through the bush That was pretty simple. There's actual trails here created by the moose. All right, that gets us right over to the Beaver Lodge entrance, which is right here. Looks like there's a trail going up on top of it, most likely them. I don't see why anybody would be in this area fishing. Highly doubt their home. This is the entrance to the Beaver Lodge. Let's try to stick the camera in a little ways. Can't really see much. Basically, it just goes in and there's one central room. The water should be up covering this, especially in the winter, so they can enter it under the ice. In the winter, there's no need for them to really come out. Although, I've seen them walking around on trail cameras in the winter. You see, I'm right here over the lodge. Usually, behind it should all be water. All a big marsh. Looks like there's a second entrance right here. I would say the beavers have abandoned this place. If they were still using it right now actively, there would be tracks absolutely everywhere. Looks like they abandoned it at least until the water goes back up some of those logs I can tell were cut in the past year so this was a recent occurrence I'm gonna follow this moose trail maybe I can avoid the mud altogether although it seems to go pretty deep into the woods oh wow look at that big spider Not gonna knock down that web. Let's try to find another way. 